What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, joined by Caveman today, and today we're going to be taming Pteranodons, as many as we can find, because the spawns seem to be a little fishy. Uh, we used to have hundreds of Pteranodons on the map, and now there's very few, so I thought I would just tame a bunch today, while well, we still can. I just leveled up. Oh. This one is level four. But I'm going to tame as many Pteranodons as I can today. Hopefully try, and get like a good ten pack. But you never know. This map has been very wonky lately. Now I'm gonna have a problem finding Prime. I know I am. Oops, Stego. Yeah, the area I finally found too isn't gonna be easy to get Prime. It's just, it feels like the spawns got all messed up. Our Redwood doesn't spawn anymore. Like, we used to have hundreds, remember, in that valley? Oh, yeah. I mean, they were constantly wandering up around the base, getting in our way. We don't I even have dinosaurs nothing. in the red one anymore. Sorry, Ankylo. I got one prime meat off of Stego. <sighs> I'm just gonna do meat. I, did, I am finding some pteranodons from our place out past the Colosseum, heading towards open water, but away from the uh, red, ob red obelisk. And there are a couple of Bronos I'm going to go ahead and kill for Prime. Yeah, that's probably the better route. This poor guy, I'm like taming a Toronto on outside his base. And he's in there. Just a noob. No one I want to squash right now. You know, it's not nice. Not nice at all. Alright, how many Prime would a, four, a level 4 take? I don't think it takes um, that much. Not much. Maybe 4. Or three, two to three. Now the question is, am I gonna need narcotics to tame it? Give it a couple narco berries. Oh, it's a level fourteen. Might be. Actually, not a bad team. I'm gonna try and tame as many Tyrannodons today. Meet Caves on his mission to get some too. So, you know, we got a two-man operation going. But I miss having a lot of dinosaurs on this map. I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to look at the any file or at least bump it up maybe. The s amount of dinosaurs on the map. Because it feels very, very small. It might be all these bases that are abandoned too. That like the that dinosaurs can't awesome. die. So when they, you know, stop playing or whatever. They just kind of sit there. And ruin spawns. There is a setting now that I've seen... Uh, prevent bases from ruining resources but that can also be glitchy because you can't build in certain areas as well on maps and that to me is kind of I hate the idea if you can't build under a beacon now and stuff like that that's just dumb kill this diplodocus not a Diplodocus, is it? Diplocolus. No, it's a Diplodocus. I don't know what I'm talking about today, guys. Tired. Had the flu. Watch the Patriots basically dominating the Rams. Does the Diplodocus have more health than a Bronto? Typically, no. Feels like there it does. It's a level 16, so maybe that's why. Oh my god, there's a ton of Brontos. Just die. Die? Die? Oh, 
Oh my god. So much health. I see you on Toronodon. Yeah, this is. I'm just to your left. That's not me. Okay, the person just landed in the base. Just stone. Yeah, that's where I'm taming a Toronodon. It's like right next to his base. Let me give him a heads up. Oh, he knows I'm here. He saw me. He ran in his base when he saw me. We should have brought some narcotics with me. We have a, so many. He's built in an interesting spot. Take down another Toronto down if I see one. I'm really beginning to dislike the exclamation mark that they put after the levels of animals. They put an exclamation mark now? When you're looking at it in in the wild. Yeah. Or you, you see the announcement kind of thing. Yeah, it, because it sometimes makes you think it's like a, a 51 instead of a 5. Yeah. Well, the font could be changed. That's what usually is a better way of fixing things. Should have made Dodo Kibble. <laughs> right, I gotta take down another one. I'm only on one. How many have you knocked out? One down, almost ten. I'm getting ready to get another one over here. Oh my god, there's a ton over here. Yeah, like, this, this spawn is probably ruining it all. Alright, you didn't fall, so that's weird. Level two. Two, three. There you go, buddy. Go check on that one. Gonna have to leave these somewhere while we tame them. I'm actually finding a fairly decent number of uh, birds over here by Wolf's yeah. place. Yeah. That's exactly where I am. I just saw a bunch. And, of course, two Rexes want a party. But the party is never the party unless Demo's there. No party. I feel like I should have brought narcotics. I don't want to pick berries. You'll learn. There you go, buddy. All right, one's almost done over here. Try and get some base defense out of him. This guy's flying around us, surrounded on like a maniac. We could kill him, but I'm 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 being a nice person today. Especially I brought ammo, just in case. Always bring ammo with you. He leveled up his death. <laughs> oh my god. That's what happens when you level up your uh your diplodocus is now. Wow. Oh that crazy dance, it's hilarious. Not diplodocus. What is Dodicarus, Dodicarus. Why do I keep saying that? When they flip over on their back and you're on it. <laughs> it's just so weird. I just shot a Pteranodon and it landed on top of the Quetzal. Did it really? Alright, that one should tame. I'm gonna go check on the other one. Should have brought Dodo Kibble. It's That's stuck you learn. to the Quetzal. Literally, stuck to the Quetzal. <laughs> one way of doing it. Here, take some, uh, actually. Take an extra prime just in case. There we go.
Yeah, hit Reg. Level two. Cool. I'm working on third. Do you have any narcotics on you? Yes, I do. <clears throat> um, can you go to Wolf's base so I can pick some up? I'm right beside Wolf's little. He has just a shell of a base. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah, that's where I'm coming. I'm at his base. Does he have another base? House of... Wolf. That's yeah. what I'm looking at. I'm right next to one too. Let me ask him. He just rolled up. Oh, yeah. No, I saw which way he went. Okay, yeah, I'm over at where he just came to. So he's building in a new area. Is he, he down by the water? The uh, fairly close. Fairly close to the water. Huh. I'm directly behind the uh, Coliseum. I'm I'm a bit off to the side. I can't quite see the uh, columns of the Coliseum. Hmm. Basically, if you follow that valley behind it, down and around towards the water. Yeah, I landed one Pteranodon up on, there's like a cliffside thing. Diplodoke is having way too much fun. I have to, I'll just punch it. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? He's angry. The hell? What's your prime at? Gotta get you more prime. Oh, those are terror birds. Don't want to fuck with those. Oh, and the pterodon that is stuck in the Quetzal is the one that was just tamed. It got knocked out. <laughs> it's literally floating around me like a halo, getting stuck in the Quetzal. Really? Knocked out. Completely knocked out. That's naughty. Ooh, Argentavis. Level 23 Argent Davis I just killed. First part about this all, guys, is we have Dodo Kibble. <laughs> we just didn't bring it. One of those things. Well, we have Dodo Eggs. We didn't make the Kibble yet. Because never make Kibble ahead of time, because then people won't steal your eggs when they raid you. People will steal kibble. Won't steal eggs. Oh, I woke up? Really? Ooh, rage. Rage. <sighs> My second one woke up. I'm going. coming towards the Coliseum. 
I'll fly over to it real quick. In the valley, I'm I'm hovering over a huge pod of uh, Brontos. I think I know where you are. You're a little bit farther back. Do you see that drop that's coming down? Let me get a little height. I see you. I'm right next to you. Just land real fast so I can grab some narcotic. There's a Rex in this area, so keep your eye open. Yeah. I can outrun him. I can hear the terror birds, though. Gonna grab. Oh. Alright, good. That way we can tame more quickly, and they won't wake up and be dumb. I'm landing them over here. I didn't even give you a prime. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. There you go. I'm gonna go grab water. So as you guys can see, not very effective at taming Pteranodons quickly. Especially when you don't have kibble. Yeah, next time we definitely do this with Kibble. <laughs> and close at a base where we have a T-Rex that can get prime like crazy. Yeah, we've almost tamed only... How many have you got? Two? One now. I only have one. Ah. I'll have two, so I have three in 20 minutes. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. We would have had four, but I fucked up one of them. Freaking can't get this first one out of my ass. Yeah, is he just like hugging right inside? Two down. See if I can get a third one. Land you with the other one. All right, two. A little bit of gamma. Level five. All right, chill there for a second and starve. Gonna find prime. Gonna find some prime meat. Huge pot of Brontos, not worth fucking with. Singled out Bronto, worth fucking with. On, die. Die, Bronto, die. Ooh, I see a snake. Snake, why you don't give prime? Probably do it with a tool next time, but whatever. Fell through the map. 
I got what? Three prime? That's good enough. Alright. Thought I just saw an alpha. I don't know. What's easier, taming pteranodons, or would you say vultures? Oh, vultures sorry, is definitely easier. Yeah. We should tame a bunch of vultures one next episode. Another group? <laughs> yeah, that's a, they'll usually spawn in groups like everyone else, Like, but you'll see three or four at a time. Yeah. And you can just run around with raw meat in slot 10 and just keep, start feeding. Exactly. That's what I'm feeling would be more more appropriate for base defense. Plus they're a bitch to shoot at. Oh my god, Dire Wolf stealing my kill. Yeah, now I'm finding Dire Wolves all over the place. <laughs> Anytime you're looking for something to tame, that was the opposite. Oh, Stego. Why you have to go in water? Got a level 14 down, but he's only about 30, 35% done. Yeah. So you'll have two. I'll have my third should be done, and then I'm going to probably end this episode, guys. But uh, give us something, you know, an army that is worth taming in the comment section. It's always good to know what you guys think is the best defense or against, you know, raids and stuff like that. Especially, you know, waiting for people to actually come on and start raiding. It seems like we're one of the only groups that actually raids. Or raids when people are online. <laughs> I try to yeah. usually only raid when people are online, but sometimes they just log off when they see you coming. Which is dumb. Never do that. Never be that type of person. Especially when there's a 30 minute timer. People can get in your base in 30 minutes. It doesn't take much. I just tagged an eight, an 18 that literally just walked up on me. Really? Yeah, so we should have a pretty good throwing it on army next time. Probably keep taming them off cam, but... Stupid Carno. Go away. I hate Carnos. They're one of those teams that's just... It was my first, like, large carnivore team, too. Was a Carno. On, a uh, Ritz's server back in the day. Also, if you guys are looking for more ARC content, make sure you check out my PvE season on my server that I'm doing right now. We're doing the ACA mod, which is ARC Comes Alive. It's like Anunnaki, and it's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff, indeed. Alright, I have more prime. Might as well take down another one. Probably finish it off him, but should tame another one. Watch somebody By all darts. means, come up with ideas for base defense that would, you think would catch people off guard. Yes. Something they'd least expect. Except for most of the people who are trying to raid us would probably have already watched the video. But it's a whole different bag of worms. They don't know which one I'm going with. Exactly. Or I'll do them all. And they never know which building has that special surprise. <laughs> There's a lot of surprises within all the bases. Of course, never keep all your eggs in one basket. That's the first rule of PvP arc. Don't put everything in one base. Ever. As you guys can see, we scattered bases all around the Redwood biome. Metal, stone, wood. All have different resources within them. All right, you are not gonna wake up in time. You're gonna, you're gonna tame. I'll have to hit you with another narcotic. I got two up here though. Not bad at all. I'll have number two and three as long as I don't get rushed by a bunch of critters. 
Yeah, so we did pretty well. I'd say I, I expected 10. We got about 6. So, in camera time, I mean, we're going to do, obviously, this for a little bit. I want to swarm. Just like Sparks. I want to swarm. One that can kill a Quetzal. Uh, there's a yellow drop up on... Uh, I'm going to go get it. Hopefully I don't run into Sparks. Hit him with a dart. <laughs> That's all I have. I don't know, sometimes I feel like yellow drops aren't worth it. You're better off going to blue and purple. Get those tools and stuff. Oh, this yellow drop just started dropping. Ew. I got teardowns all around me now. They're all level 2, though. Yeah, I feel like you have to, might have to sit in an area for a while and let them spawn in. That might also be a thing. Like areas that have people online already, you have to go yeah. to those areas. Let me land on you. Oh, sad faces. Of course, I'm gonna sit up here where it's not ice cold. Just cold. <laughs> Take a nice poop. Be a long arc episode, but I know you guys are fine with that. Unless you're a mobile user and you kind of don't like longer episodes all the time. I've already put up like a 36 minute today. Huh. Come on, airdrop. Come on, airdrop. Yeah, if we used good Dodo Kibble, we would have got like 20. Can't sit in that freezing cold too long. It'll start killing you. It's landing. It's landing. It's landing. All right, quick fly down. Really, a level thirty Brondo, and I've only gotten one prime. <laughs> Metal irrigation and a uh, turtle saddle. Fabulous. <sighs> Alright, let's go make sure I'm not Toronto on real quickly. And then we'll have to end the episode, you guys. But remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me, guys. Channel's been growing like crazy because you guys are enjoying the ARC content. Along with, I should be jumping on the aisle at some point this week. So we'll see what they've changed. I might do a little bit of a progression series so you guys can see all that. But if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, let's get back to our our magical magical Tyranodon that was taming. I mean, I tamed a level 15 that became a level 20, so that's not bad. Lie down into the valley. Make sure Tronodon is tame. Come on, Mr. Tronodon. Alright. And then I have a level 2 that I tamed. Alright. Well, if you guys enjoyed the episode, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Demo. He's been Caveman. Have a wonderful day.